Hi, I'm Richard, and over the last 10 years, I've helped tens of students get into UCL MSE Finance with an 86% success rate. That is six times their average acceptance rate of 12%. And today, we're going to be giving tips and tricks as to how you can boost your chances on getting onto this competitive finance course in London. Number one is a long track record of mathematics. Now, UCL's course is a quantitative course, but it stands out compared to the titans at London School of Economics, Imperial and London Business School, as well as Economics and Finance at Oxford. It stands out from them because it doesn't require the GMAT. And they might take you on a 2-1 in a quantitative subject whereas those other courses almost certainly require a first class. So we strongly recommend that any student interested in finance includes UCL finance in the set to maximize your chances. And to remind you, we have a 92% success rate of helping students to get into either their first and or second choice course for finance management and other business related degrees. Now, just because there is slightly less focus on that quantitative element doesn't mean that a long track record on maths isn't still important. If you have any particularly good grades in a quantitative subject, we strongly recommend that you pick those out. Say you've got an 86% in advanced calculus and 90% in an advanced statistics module. If you don't have anything to point to as maybe you haven't done a quantitative degree or you don't have quite as strong grades, it's extra important that you look for other alternatives. Taking the GMAT whilst not a requirement can help you. If you get a good competitive score over 650, even better over 700, this is something to point to and ask your referees to point to to show your aptitude and interest in uh, standardized tests and mathematical courses. My top tip, however, is to look for additional external courses. In the world of MOOCs, you can do the first term of an MIT or top American Business School course. If you can get a certificate and potentially a 90% in such a course and put it all over your application, your CV and your referees, you're going to have a great advantage over others. Now, important other tips for your statement. UCL gives you a slightly shorter statement. It recommends about 3,000 characters, so about one page of A4, and you want to make that application really succinct. I'm going to give you five pillars to go through. You can also sign up through your email for these to be sent over to you, as well as an exemplar statement in the description below to give you additional tips to help you to smash your chances of getting in. Now, pillar number one is motivation. What do you want to achieve with your UCL finance degree? What impact do you want to make? And I strongly recommend taking a common topic, something interesting in finance, and saying how you are going to contribute towards this. Very related, and to help you direct this, a five-year career plan. What are you going to do immediately after graduating? And it's a specific desk they're looking for. Saying, I want to be an investment banker at Goldman Sachs is cliche, and thousands of other people will write the same. Saying that you want to be a forwards and futures specialist in the MENA region under the supervision of Gina Goldsmith at JP Morgan on a desk which you hope to run within the next five years shows a specificity and an ambition to help you stand out. So that five-year career plan is really important. What are you going to end up running? Who are you going to end up managing in your career? Number three is university-specific knowledge. At the master's level, you will write an individual and direct application to UCL. This means that you can go very deep into your research. And UCL has a fantastic optionality. They have over 13 electives that you can choose. And you can specialize in all sorts of elements of fintech and VC, where because UCL is based partly in Canary Wharf in the center of London, they've got these fantastic connections to employers. Mention you've done the research, mention that's the reason why you're applying to UCL, and you will come across as a very, very strong candidate indeed. Go further, say which electives you've already chosen that you'd like to do, which societies you join, which lecturer is the most interesting that you'd like to have a coffee with in your office hours. 
I hope you can see how these will show you're a serious candidate and stand out way above others who copy and paste. I want to go to LSE, delete, 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 UCL in order to learn more finance, which let's be honest, is what half the candidates will be doing. You can do better and that's how you can increase your chances of getting in. Now, really importantly is work experience. Hopefully you've already done some sort of work experience, maybe an ideally a spring week or an internship in a finance institution. However, UCL is more forgiving if you haven't. This is a course for those who are smart and want to move into finance, whereas the competitors at LSE are fairly unlikely to look at you if you don't have a strong track record in finance already. And whereas for those courses, there's videos on them, I encourage you to look at them through the links below. Whereas for those other courses, we would highly recommend you maybe even take a year or two out before applying to this course. UCL Finance is a great course to start on straight after you complete your BSE. And if you have any additional work experience, that's going to help you. But they are looking for candidates with ideally less than two years of work experience. Lastly, subject expertise. This is the fifth pillar. We've covered a little bit of it in career plan by talking about FX and bond trading, but go further. Use the jargon of finance. If you have experience in finance, talk about that. You need to be writing a statement that a non-finance student wouldn't necessarily be able to write or understand, going much further than those concepts. And it's fine if you don't know that right now. You have time until your application, unless it's the night before, in which case, Good luck, maybe apply night, uh, next year. But assuming it's not, research more YouTube videos, go to public lectures, read up on the FT, find topics and books that interest you and mention those because you're only gonna get into this course if you already sound like you've studied the first week of it. So UCL uses Kira Prep uh, for online pre-recorded interviews. These are a very unique interview because there won't be someone on the other end of the screen. So you're going to get them saying, hi, can you please tell us about a time when you had a weakness at work? And then the screen will just cut black and you'll have to answer for about 60 seconds. This is something which we can really help to prepare students with. It's quite an unnatural interview and there are lots of tips. In fact, the tips and tricks for a pre-recorded interview are entirely different from an ex-alumni or an admissions or an in-person interview. And it's really, really important to be able to talk confidently to the camera for 60 seconds. The number one tip is just don't stop. And the number two tip is to be really prepared. We've got, I think it's 54 tips on pre-recorded interviews, as well as a question bank of over 200 past questions on Kira Prep to help give our students the edge. So make sure that you don't forget to prepare for your interview ahead of your application. So UCL is a top 10 global university. Their finance degree is competitive, but strategically it has double the success rate of LSE down the road, making it a fantastic university to apply to. With the 13 optional modules, as well as amazing links to employers and based in Canary Wharf, and no GMAT requirement, and more leniency on potentially not having as much quantitative degrees, this is an excellent strategic choice to get you a top globally rated recognized finance course that any employer is going to jump at for much, much higher chances than some of those other top 10 courses. I hope you've enjoyed watching. I'm one of a network of over 1,000 university professionals and admissions consultants who would love to give you a 6x chance of getting into a top university such as LSE Finance. We dedicate all of our time to speaking to ex-admissions professionals, alumni and interviewers to give our students a competitive edge when applying to these courses and we'd love to work with you. So contact us using the description below or the information on screen now and best of luck in your applications.